Today is day 18 in our devotional and I want you to get your Bible again and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Pray that He will give you a revelation, a divine connection that He will reveal to you things that you never seen before. So today I'm going to continue reading and studying from the book of John chapter 20. Verse 24, it says, But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples were saying to him, We have seen the Lord. But he, Thomas, said to them, Unless I see his hands, unless I see in his hands the imprint of the nails, and put my finger into the place of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Think about this, Thomas did not believe his friends because he has relational issues in the past. So when the disciples said, we saw him, he doesn't want to just see him, he wants to touch him. Now, as we are going through this pandemic challenge, COVID-19, can we use this opportunity to strengthen our relationship one with one another, our love with one another, our trust with one another, that our unity will grow. And we can understand one another better. Thomas struggles with his identity. He struggles with his significance. He feels like he is insignificant. During this shaking, economy challenge, physical challenge, society challenge all over the world, let your identity in Christ be stronger. Your struggles, you know that your struggles with your identity can affect many things. We touched about this several days ago. Your struggles with identity can affect your sense of safety, your sense of security, and also your sense of significance. It can affect your, your sense of competence, your sense of achievement, feel like you are not good enough, your sense of focus, your sense of alignment or timing, and also relational capacity. That is what Thomas experienced. He went through these struggles. Today, I only have one point that I want to emphasize to you, and that is be secure in who you are in Christ. Why? Because insecurity can manifest itself in a number of ways. See if this script match anything in you. I will just give you the beginning of the script and uh, I want you to fill in the rest. I want you to, to fill in the blank, the dots, okay? How about this? I'm not smart enough to dot, dot, dot. I don't deserve, you fill in the blank. I can't afford, you fill in the blank. I can't see my future, dot, dot, dot. Or maybe, I'm too young to, how about, I'm too old to, dot, dot, dot. Do they relate to you? Thomas is wrestling. He's in a place of wrestling with insecurity. You will not find safety where you expect to get it. If you have been raised in a context where you have been compared to other people, the very relationship from where you want to get safety is the very one you are not going to get it from them. And yet, we spend 
a lot of our energy trying to be affirmed by people that never affirmed us. Could be your friend, could be your peers. How about your father? And many people they are struggling with in, 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 with insignificance and try to they, they try to dress different to have to buy something different to have a car uh, uh, that that expecting that people would uh, would affirm them, you know. Um, it's not enough to get affirmation from from anybody. How about? If I say it's not enough to get affirmation from your father, if you never get affirmation from your father, you will keep doing stuff to get it from your father. But think think about this. How about if your father has his own issues? Your father has his own pain. He has his, his own uh, he, he never was affirmed. And uh, the same thing with your friends or your, your peers, you know, how about if they never experience affirmation? Please understand that you need to realize you cannot give what you do not have. Meaning, they cannot give affirmation to you if they do not have affirmation in themselves. And our struggle is we constantly trying to do something to get the approval. And the more you try to get approval, the more disapproval you experience and you begin to build a bigger and bigger and bigger critical void in your spirit, in your heart. And God is saying to you right now, you will never get it from there. You can only get it from me. A lot of time we hear, I love you when you behave well. In other words, we tie love to a specific behavior that gets us our approval. So we learn how to play the game in order to get the affirmation that we starve for because we never heard, I don't love you for what you do, I love you for who you are. We never heard that. Today, I want you to hear that God is saying that to each one of you, to all of us right now. We try to do things in order to get things. It doesn't mean there are not areas that you don't need to work on stuff. I'm not saying that there are things that we need to work on because all of us have some, some, some rough areas. But we need to understand that we are not human doing. We are human being. So the order, the order is be, do, and have. So let's sing in, in our hearts. We need to be secure in who we are in Christ. So, while all this shaking is happening, you are not going to be shaken in your relationship with Christ. That's where you get the peace, peace beyond understanding. You get the peace from the Prince of Peace, which is Jesus. Tomorrow, we are going to study more, learn more about affirmation. See you tomorrow. God bless you.